Hi, this is Darren Lyle again. I'm still working on this thing. <laughs> um, it is, you know, a beast of a project, but that's what I enjoy, those kind of things. So what I did the last time was created these um, product shelves. Um, and I think I'm going to start putting products on it. Um, I think that's what I may do today. I'm, and once again, I'm going to try not to get into too much of the details, but I may just kind of do a test or two and see how things uh, work here. Maybe do, I don't know, uh, you know, a cereal box. I know we're going to need a cereal box box in this and that may be the way to begin so maybe I want to do that um, I've looked a little bit at this um, if I go to Google here we can put um, I don't know cereal box uh, texture let's do that try that and then images and see what we get do this. Um, so we've got a lot of uh, possibilities here. I think I grabbed one earlier. I'm not sure which one I grabbed. But I kind of want um, things that are kind of laid out for me like this. This is a nice one here. So I think I'm going to grab this. Actually, let me, to make sure I get things fairly large. Let me try this. Okay, so that cuts out a few of them. That's fine. Uh, Fruit Loops. You got to have Fruit Loops, although this isn't really flat. Whoever did this didn't lay this down flat. Um, let's see if I can find another one that's relatively big. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Let's try that one. Okay, so... Um, Let's see, I'm going to save this as an image, and I'll call it uh, Fruit Loops Texture um, Image. Okay, so let's do that, and then I need a box. So let's go back here, and let's just create a box. Now, this is really more of a proof of concept than an actual finished thing, at least today. I just want to see if I can get a product in there and see how it works. There we go. So there's that. I kind of want to move the cursor. Actually, I'll... No, the cursor's already there. I'm going to move the origin to the 3D cursor. Okay, so there we go. Let's, uh, oh, let me turn these on. Okay. And um, let me apply the scale. All right. So I'm actually going to just UV this thing and try and apply our texture to make a cereal. And then a cereal product. And then we'll uh, see how it works. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Why not? I'm going to go... I'm just going to split out the top. Um, and I'll split out the bottom. And this will be the back, back here. So I'll split that out like that. Or I don't have to. Actually, I could just go like this. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Marcusim. And let's UV it. Oops, don't want that. Let's try that again. Okay. So what we've got here now is this is the bottom. All right, so I'll move that down here. Just so I n know which one is which. This must be the top. I'll move that over. Like that. Um, we're going to call this the front, right? Okay, good. And I'll just move these up into here. Okay. 
So now, let's take a look at this. I'm going to give myself a... There we go. All right, so now let's take it into Photoshop and see if we can apply that uh, texture. Uh, here, let's do this. And I'm just going to... Well, I need to export the UVs now, don't I? So let's do that. Let's get these out of here. Uh, export PNG. Uh, let's go into textures. We'll call this, oh, I've already got one in there. Oh, that's right, I did one. Let's call this fruit. Uh, no, let's just call this cereal box because we'll use this, the same one for all the different cereals. Um, let's do 2048. Well, are they going to be that large in the scene? That's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm dealing with an an animation, not a game. Okay, so let's make it 2048. And I'm going to export this out. And now let's go into Photoshop and put those on and see how it looks. Uh, textures. Uh, where did it go? Did I put it in the wrong place? Maybe I did. I did. I put it in here. That's the wrong place. That's okay. I'll move it later. Okay, so um, there is my um, UVs. Let's bring in that image. Where was that? That was in the other textures. Let's grab that. All right. So now, oh, this isn't very big, is it? Hmm. Well, uh, this may not work real well since it isn't very big, but let's give it a try. Uh, it may be a little blurry, but once again, proof of concept. That's what we're after here. Just a test. Yeah, this is really small. All right, well, let's go ahead and do it and um, while it's here. But this is going to be ugly. <laughs> I mean, I could export it out at 1024, I suppose, and have it be a little bit more in line. But that's holding pretty well, it, I think. So let's try this. Uh, I'll grab the back. Let's do that. And uh, let's paste that there. Yeah, this is... I didn't really check to see which way was up. <laughs> I should have done that before I brought these in, but that's okay. We'll... Once again, proof of concept, right? Let's, let's just keep telling myself that. All right, so I'm going to grab this. There we go. And um, this one, oops, let's see, this is to the right of the main one, so that's going to be over here. Let's put this here, like this. There we go. And this down here, like so. Um, and then this other one over here, like this. And then we will take this back into Blender, apply it, see how it works, and see if it's something that we can do for many of the other products as well. Always like to do some sort of a proof of concept. Okay, so um, I guess all I need is just these here. Let's grab this, and let's say that's going to be on the bottom. Like this. Yeah, this is just, um, I shouldn't have, 
I think what happened, even though I searched in Google for fairly big images, I then clicked on another one and it wasn't as big. So let's do that. And then last one. Here we go. Let's get this on there. Here we go. So how is every everybody? Uh, I haven't looked over at the chat yet. Hope you're doing well. Um, let me get this over to the... Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. Uh, this is going to be... Yeah, I'll do this. And then I can bring in other textures to this. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right, so let me turn off the UVs here. Um, and let's take it in and see how it works. Let's use a PNG so we get that alpha channel. Um, and we'll export. This is going to be Fruit Loops box. Let's just see how it works. So, Darren, how long have you worked in Blender? Um, wow. I'm thinking it's been between 15 and 20 years. <laughs> I feel like it was early 2000s. And before that, I played with uh, 3ds Max, Lightwave, those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, and then I had to use Autodesk Maya for a while when I was uh, teaching. But yeah, Blender's been kind of um, probably 16, 17 years. Gosh, way to make me feel old. <laughs> All right, let's... Um, bring in our uh, texture here. So uh, I guess I need to bring it in here. And hook it up. Um, where did I put it? Fruit Loops, right? Uh, let's see. There it is. Fruit Loops. Yay, well, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, you know, with it being one of many uh, uh, products on the shelf. All right, so let's save this. Now let's go back to our default uh, texture. Let's bring back our store. And where's my, oh, there it is. Let's bring it over here. It's a little, a little big. You know what I'll do is put it over here on the counter by my my dude, my guy. Where is he? There he is. So this is my uh, uh, six foot tall, you know, template that I'm kind of using to see how big things are. So if this is a box of cereal, how big would that be? If that was a guy, would it be about like that big? Maybe. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so now let's take this. And I know I'm going to want boxes of cereal like around in here. Like in here. And, oh, okay, so over here. And in here. And, oh, let's go to texture, and there we go. Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruit Loops on the shelf. So let me uh, bring it down just a little bit. How does that feel? Does that feel all right? If, if that was there, oops, like 
this. Just add a few here. And maybe add a few here. Fruit Loops. <laughs> okay, uh, you know what I'll do is come out here and I'll run around. Here we go, walk over here. Walk in, hello, do you have any Fruit Loops? Over there, yes, okay. Do, 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 walk over here. And Fruit Loops. They seem a little high or maybe, well, that's not bad. Actually, I could do a couple of different, um, so I could maybe lower this shelf and put another row of cereal here, but it needs a couple more. It needs a couple more rows there. So let's go do that. Well, that's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm going to go do another one. All right. Um, let me just see. Uh, that center gondola spine should be higher too. Uh, are you talking in the display here? Oh, this part here? It may be, but part of the scene is going to be people peering over to see somebody else over here. So I've kind of cheated. If this is what you're talking about, yeah, but I've kind of cheated it because I need them to see each other over the top of these, if that makes any sense. So I'm kind of cheating it for the actual narrative, I guess. Um, okay, so I want to do another serial. That was, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> all right, so let's do that. Let's save that. Um, I'll take all of these and I'll put them into one layer here. And uh, we'll call this Fruit Loops. Oops, that's not how you spell fruit. Call that f Fruit Loops. And we'll do this again. Uh, so I have another one. Let's go take a look what that other one was. Hmm. Oh, no. That's just the UVs. Yeah, so let's go look for another one. What else? Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah, I could do that one. It's a kind of off-center, but I could s straighten that. We could do that. Mmm, Frosted Flakes. This looks a little blurry here. At least here. Uh, fruity Pebbles. Shreddies. Well, that looks almost healthy. I don't want. I don't want to do that. Um, let's do this one here. All right. Let's grab that, and we'll uh, go. Uh, pebbles image. We'll do this. Okay. Now let's go get that. And, um, oh, I put it in the wrong thing again. Man, I'm going to have to quit doing that. No, where did it go? There it is. Okay, I've got two f folders for my textures, and that's not a good thing. That's confusing me. I'll have to fix that. All right, so this, uh, let's create it. Let's make it a layer, and then I'm just going to turn it just a smidge so it's more up and down like this. Let's get, see if I can Seems to be about right. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, good. That looks pretty on axis there. So let's try this again. I'm going to grab this and uh, 
Yeah, actually, making all the uh, products may be kind of kind of a good time. Let's we, we will see. I'm sure it will get old after a while, but as as does everything after a time. All right. Um, let's do this. Yeah, this is a little bit off here. That's okay. We can. It'll be on the back, so that's not a big deal. Let's just get that right there. Do that. So as I said, I may um, redo some of this because these images are a little bit small compared to my UV size. But um, let's do this. Uh, which one was that? That was by the... Um, the right hand side there we go okay um aren't cereal boxes in convenience stores usually the single serving ones yeah they are i don't know but i need i i need this <laughs> It's part of the story. Uh, I gotta do. I gotta have it. So, uh, but I think I've seen cereal, full size cereal, in the store. Maybe. I don't know. I don't get out much. So, <laughs> trapped behind my computer with Blender. Okay, let's try that. And I kind of want to move that over just a bit. Like, there you go. And then, you know what? I could just take, um, yeah, I'm just going to grab this. Um, I don't need form there okay so I think all I'm going to do is just put this one up here and the same thing on the bottom because I don't need it to be anything else than just that it's you know on the on the bottom there okay let's let's try this Okay, turn the UVs off. Export. And this is cocoa pebbles. Okay. Uh, co there we go. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just duplicate one of the previous ones uh, here. Let's move that over. Then I'll give it a new um, material. Let's just, I'm going to go back over here just to, s to, to see it. Uh, let's give it a new material. Yeah, uh, this one should be called Fruit Loops, right? And this one should be called. There we go. And then we bring this one in. And here. Where did I put it? Right here, I think. Yep. And there it is. Okay, so now we could have these in here as well. And 
and they're a little bit too, um, you know, uh, perfect. We need to turn them or, oh, wrong way. There we go. So like, you know, you gotta, I feel like I need to turn them a bit and make them a little uneven, that kind of thing. There we go. I don't, I hate when things are all perfectly aligned. You know, there we go. So there we go. Okay, let's um, run around. So this is our counter. There's our, there's our, our cereal. Okay. All right. So we're getting there. Um, what other products do I want to do today? Ooh, Campbell's Soup. What else do we have in here? Lots of chips. I'm gonna need to do one of these coolers here pretty soon. Got lots of uh, soda, tuna, Campbell's Soup, peanut butter, things like that. How about Campbell's soup? That looks like something to kind of ease me into the whole process here. Um, so, as you can see, this is what I'm doing today. I'm just playing with some uh, products, seeing how it works. Um, it looks like I want to. I want to move this down a bit and and add a few more cereal items here. But yeah, let's do um, some Campbell's soup and put them on the um, you know, somewhere in here. Okay. Uh, wow, this is going to be really detailed. Yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it, but it's I en I enjoy this kind of thing. Um, okay, so. I've got those cereal boxes. Let's take those to layer one. And there they are. Now let's go back and uh, so uh, soup. Let's bring in a cylinder. Um, I am going to use subdivision surfaces on this. So I'm gonna just go with 12 vertices and go with a uh, triangle fan on the top. And then let me, uh, let's scale it up in the Z just a bit like that. I should probably get an image of a Campbell's soup can, right? Cause when I don't have an image of what I'm creating, it gets all uh, it, it doesn't work very well. Campbell's soup can. Let's try this. Ooh. Uh, okay, here. Well, I don't need this, but okay. Um, yeah, this is this is good though. I don't think I need the whole pull top thing. I'm going to save this and put it in references, products, Campbell's can. Okay. Now I can grab this and put that over here. Products can there. Now I have an image that I can work with over here. Okay, um, so that's about the size I need, I think. Maybe a little bit, there we go. Um, what I can do is, let's see. Um, oh, I've got my, uh, uh, let me change this now that I can, now I can see those. Let's um, scale this in, 
take it down. Let's, uh, we need to get these rims here. So I'll just do two scale. Whoa. <laughs> Let's do that. Scale them in the Z. Uh, about like that. Let's, uh, E and I'll scale it in the Y and the X. So S shift Z and scale those out just a smidge like that. Okay, so now let's put a subdivision surface modifier on there. Uh, here, let's smooth it. All right, now let's add some edges to clean this up. this okay um, probably don't need anything more than that really okay so now um, we need to UV map it don't we so you know what, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and add another edge loop right in the center here so it isn't pulling so, so much. So that's my can. Let's go UV, UV it quickly. Uh, where's my thing? There he is. Okay. Um, so... Let's call this the front, so the back, let's go right back here and grab these and let's here and here. Let's mark these as our seams. Mark a seam here. Um, do we also need a seam? We may also need a seam in here. Let's do that. Let's try it at least. Uh, let's apply the rotation and scale. Let's UV it. And there we go. Okay, so this would be the bottom down here. Mm, here. There we go. This will be the bottom, so I don't need that in there very big. This will be the top. You know, I really don't need that. I'll just put, um, I was actually gonna put a, a texture on that. I can just use a material there. I don't need, I don't need a seam there. I'm not gonna do that. That's, that's too much work, <laughs> too much. So let me clear that seam. There we go. And let's re-UV map it. There we go. So there we've got the top and the bottom. So which is which? Let me click this here, this. So that's the bottom. And this here is the top. Okay. All right. And then I don't think... Let me move this. This is, let's see where this edge is, right here. Where's that edge? edge? Ah, it's there on the bottom. So up here is the top. Okay, that's what I needed to know. So if I select this, and rotate it this way, that's 90, R90, like that. Now I've got this, and I can put these in here, like this. I'm gonna 
get this right in side there. I don't want it to be hanging over any, so I'll scale it down just a smidge. Okay, so there's my UV map. Now, what I'd like to do is find some sort of a Campbell's Soup label right up here. Uh, texture, let's try that. Ooh, primordial soup, nice. Um, hmm, I'm not seeing much here. There we go. Uh, this is kind of an oldie timey one. This one looks pretty good. How about chicken noodle? It doesn't look like I have a tomato here. I mean, I could pull one off of a can of soup myself, but at least for now, let's grab this and we'll use this. So, um, uh, we'll call this, uh, oh, I'll call it a soup can image. There we go. Now, let's take this, export it out, and for this, I probably don't need 2048. I probably should have kept the previous one at 1024. Let's just use that. So this is a uh, soup can UVs. There it goes. Let's go give it a try. All right, so I don't need these guys. Uh, actually, I'll keep them. I don't remember which ones I need to save and which ones I don't. So soup can image, there's this. Okay, and I also need my UVs. Where'd I put those? Oh, probably in the wrong folder yet again. Nice. Soup can UVs, okay, let's do that. All right, let's give this a try. Um, I don't feel like I need all of this, maybe like this. Let's see how this works. Hey, this is plenty big enough now, okay. So unlike the last time, uh, I'm gonna move the UVs up to the top so I can see them a little bit better. Put that in there. Just move this down like this. All right. And then um, I'll use a different material for these, actually. I don't even need to deal with these right now, so I won't deal with that. Uh, can UV, sure. Let's get this out and try it on, on the can. Uh, this is Campbell's soup label. I'll just go like this. Okay. All right. Let's go give it a try. Once again, create um, a material. We'll call this uh, Campbell's soup. Uh, texture, image, and let's bring that in, see if I can find it. <laughs> I've got to, here we go, this is it, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to need to uh, a couple things here, a couple problems I have. One, let's do this. Let's see if this worked. Okay, 
that's the problem I was imagining because of the subdivision surface modifier. So, um, one thing I should have done is there is a tool here. If I recall, let me see if I can do this again. You know what I could do too here? Actually, let me open this. Yeah, I kind of screwed that one up because of the subdivision surface modifier. So that's there. Now, if I redo this, let's see if this works. Well, you know what I could do? <laughs> It'd be kind of cheating, but I could still do it. Uh, no, I can't do that. Okay, because I marked the seam down here instead of up there. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Well, then that makes sense, I guess. So what I should do is mark the seams with the subdivision surface modifier on so I don't get that problem. All right, let's try that. Let's try it again real quick here and here. And then let's mark this seam here like that. Let's try this. Unwrap. Mm, and now I've got this going on. Use subsurf modifier. Let's try if it's conformal. Ah, there we go. That looks good. So what I can do now, I think, is take these guys. <laughs> Let's not hide them. Let's just move them. And then I could take this guy and just move it straight up here like this. Right. And then I could... Well, I could take... Yeah, let me just scale this in in the Y. Like this. So this is kind of down and dirty. It's not quite the way I usually <laughs> like to do it. Um, no, that's an X and... All right. Let me move that over here like that. Let's see how this works. Okay, let's try that. Better. Okay, so now, although this is a little bit, um, uh, it's a little bit squished, isn't it? So we can work with that. So hang on, let me, uh, I'm going to grab the top here and, uh, right in here and I want to select all of this and uh, I would like to create oops a new material there we go Um, well, actually, I can do it over here, can't I? Let's just go like this. And, uh, oh, no, I wanted it in there. Dang it. Let me undo. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I want a new material as part of this. So I want a new material in here new and we'll call this uh, metal since, since that's the metal top and we'll assign that and then I want this up here like this so I'm just giving these different materials like this there we go okay so um, go like 
like that. Okay, so now, what happened to my... Um, My UVs here, why are they stretched, I wonder? Well, it's because I tried to scale the UVs to the um, label instead of making the label to the UVs, isn't it? So maybe I could move this down like this. And I could take this and move it just as a, there we go, temporary measure. All right, so now what let's do is let's see how this looks. Um, a couple things I could do. So. I think what I want to do is give it a little bit of a gloss, but I'm not going to be able to see it very well here. So what I can do, let me think. You know what? Let me put an HDR image back here, and then we'll see how it looks. That might be fun. Um, I'm going to, in the world, use nodes, bring in an environment texture, and I've got one. In it from a grocery store here somewhere let me see if it's in here here this one so this is an HDRI that I found of a grocery store and so if we change to rendered there we go you can see it in there so that's, we're kind of like in the grocery store there. Um, so now, let me just move this to one side. So that's a little bit bigger. So let's see how this looks. Um, I think I may, let me see if I can turn this off. I think I, there we go. Um, so let's see if we can get this so we're getting a bit of reflection um, from the HDRI. Well, I'll bring it back just so we can see it. Okay. Um, and maybe even bring it up just a little bit. So strength, let's bring it up to two. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Okay. So I kind of want a glossy in here. And as I said, this is proof of concept you know, testing things out just to see how it's going to work. Uh, let's add a mix shader in here. There we go. All for a soup can, right? Well, there's going to be <laughs> more to it than the soup can. So, all right. So, at least more to it in the um, in the env environment. All right, so so if I wanted to, I could take this and this, and there's our <laughs> and there's our in environment, but we don't need it quite like that. So maybe I'll take this up to point one, something like that, and then let's uh, bring it back down like that. Maybe to, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's do point one here as well. Okay, now let's do the other um, material here on the top and the bottom. Now, wait a minute. Where did it go? That's not, did I select all of that? What happened? Oh, oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> that's not good. Let's go here. There we go. Let's select it here, not there. Okay. And let's do the same thing. Let's do a mix and a glossy. And 
so now we could see that this is how it would look if it was a mirror, and that's not quite what we want. So um, let's now take this to one. Uh, I could take this down a little darker, maybe. Like that. See how that looks. Yeah, so that gives it a little bit of a a metallic kind of a thing there. And you can kind of see the um, environment reflected just a little bit in there. All right, so there's our our soup can. Uh, let's put it on on the shelf. Uh, let's go back here. There it is. Uh, it's going to be probably kind of big. Um, so let's bring back this. Oh, there it is. Let's bring this back. Uh, let's put it on a shelf. Um, you know what I should do? Let's undo this, take it back. I should move the cursor real quick or the um, origin. Let me do that real quick. So I need to move it down to there and then let's move the origin uh, to the 3D cursor there. So we know that we're going to uh, scale from the bottom there. Okay, now let's move this over. Put it on the sh shelf. Scale it down. And let's see, how big is it compared to a cereal box? I don't know. I don't know how big these things should be. Let's go take a look here. Let me move it over. Uh, go to... Uh, there we go. Okay, so it feels too small, doesn't it? Let's try and scale it up just a little bit. Is that about right? Something like that. I don't think if we go to r rendered, we're going to see anything. Not a lot. Yeah. No lights in there. That's okay. All right. So if we've got that, let's now uh, put it over here and down here and maybe uh, I'm just going to put it over here on this corner. And take it down to the, there we go. So then we can begin, you know, putting these here. Like that. All right. Look at that. So now I need uh, Fruit Loops and soup. Okay, over here. Thank you. Got the soup. And I'll just jump <laughs> onto the roof. <laughs> How did I do that? Let me try that again. I kind of went way off there. So there's the soup. And we go around. And we find our cereal over here. Look at that. All right. Well, I... Uh, I thank you for for joining me. I didn't get much of a uh, chance to go over here and say hi to everybody. Let me just see what everybody's doing over here. Um, oh, let's see. What is an HDRI? Yes, well, somebody answered a uh, slate machine high dynamic range image it's a great thing to use as an in in environment um in in the background to get uh r reflections and l lighting it's pretty it's pretty nice uh do you use any fresnel 
effect on the can. Well, you could. That might be a little bit too much uh, because the can is going to be very small in the scene. Um, random object array add-on works well for those situations. Oh, to put them in there. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. An array modifier. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, all right, looks like you guys, this is awesome. Thank you so much for joining me here. Oh, someone from Africa? Nice. So, all right. Well, thank you again. Um, this is this is kind of what I'll be doing for a while, so I hope you can continue to uh, join me. I'm going to, as I said, going to do more of the uh, things back here. And also, someone uh, mentioned on one of the comments about um, an area for, like, uh, uh, coffee and let me see if I can find that where it was and they mentioned coffee soda yeah like this or like this like a counter that has um, you know coffee cups uh, soda things like that so maybe we'll try and work on something like this as well on one of the walls that'll be kind of cool I think so, all right. Well, thanks again, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great one.